I, I thought uh, this had the potential, otherwise I probably wouldn't have done it. Tom Selleck, the magnum P.I. heartthrob whose mustache symbolized rugged charm, has graced our screens for decades. Yet behind the celebrated image lies a private man seeking respite from fame's demands. He's known to fiercely guard his personal life and has even considered leaving acting altogether. As Blue Bloods heads into its final season, could this be Selleck's farewell to Hollywood? Join us as we delve into the untold story of the television icon Tom Selleck, Michigan Roots to California Dreams. Born on a chilly January morning in 1945, Thomas William Selleck entered the world in the bustling city of Detroit, Michigan. Little did anyone know that this wide-eyed baby would one day become a household name, capturing hearts with his charming smile and iconic mustache. Tom Selleck, as he would come to be known, was the second of four children born to Martha and Robert Dean Selleck. Martha, a devoted housewife, poured her love and energy into creating a warm and nurturing home for her family. Robert, an executive and real estate investor, provided a stable foundation for his wife and children, instilling in them the values of hard work and determination. With three siblings, Robert, Martha, and Daniel. Tom Selleck's childhood crackled with energy. The Selleck clan was a tight-knit bunch, filled with laughter, love, and the occasional sibling rivalry. In 1948, when Tom was just three, the family made a life-changing decision. They packed up their belongings and bid farewell to the cold winters of Detroit, setting their sights on the sunny skies of California. The family settled in the picturesque town of Sherman Oaks, nestled in the heart of the San Fernando Valley. It was here, amidst the swaying palm trees and the hum of Hollywood dreams, that Selleck would spend his formative years. As he grew, Selleck's charisma and athletic prowess began to shine. He attended Grant High School in Sherman Oaks, where he excelled both academically and on the sports field. His tall, athletic frame made him a natural fit for basketball and baseball, and he quickly became a standout player. But there was more to Selleck than just his physical abilities. He had a quick wit and an infectious personality that drew people to him like moths to a flame. Education and athletic talents. After graduating from high school in 1962, Selleck set his sights on higher education. Eager to save money, he enrolled at Los Angeles Valley College, a local community college known for its strong academic programs. This is where Selleck's love for sports truly blossomed. He joined the college's basketball team and quickly made a name for himself on the court. His skill and dedication caught the eye of scouts from the University of Southern California, USC, one of the nation's most prestigious universities. During his junior year, Selleck made the leap to USC, transferring to the renowned institution to continue his education and his athletic pursuits. At USC, Selleck was a force to be reckoned with. He played both basketball and baseball, showcasing his versatility and his unwavering commitment to excellence. Off the court, Selleck was equally impressive. He joined the Sigma Chi fraternity, forging lifelong friendships and immersing himself in the vibrant social scene of USC. He also became a member of the Trojan Knights, a prestigious student organization known for its leadership and community service. Despite his love for sports and his involvement in various extracurricular activities, Selleck never lost sight of his academic goals. He chose to major in business administration, recognizing the value of a solid foundation in the world of commerce. However, as he progressed through his studies, Selleck began to feel a pull towards a different path. Deep down, he knew his true passion lay in the world of acting. In a bold move that would change the course of his life, Selleck made the decision to leave USC in his senior year to pursue his dream of becoming an actor. It was a risky choice, but one that Selleck knew he had to make. He had caught the acting bug, and there was no turning back. Dating game to draft notice. Just as Selleck was beginning to find his footing in the acting world, Uncle Sam came calling. In 1967, at the height of the Vietnam War, Selleck received his draft notice. Rather than trying to dodge the draft or seek a deferment, Selleck embraced his duty to serve his country. He joined the California National Guard and was assigned to the Infantry Regiment. For the next six years, 
From 1967 to 1973, Selleck balanced his military service with his burgeoning acting career. It was a challenging time, but Selleck refused to let his dreams fall by the wayside. Even while fulfilling his obligations to the National Guard, he continued to seek out small acting roles whenever he could. One of Selleck's earliest television appearances came in the form of a game show. In 1965 and again in 1967, Selleck appeared as a contestant on The Dating Game, a popular show where a bachelorette would question three potential suitors hidden from her view, ultimately choosing one for a date. Although he didn't win, Selleck's appearances on the show hinted at the charisma and screen presence that would later make him a star. In addition to his game show appearances, Selleck also began landing small roles in commercials. His rugged good looks and effortless charm made him a natural fit for advertising campaigns. He appeared in commercials for Pepsi-Cola, Salem Cigarettes, and Revlon, showcasing his versatility and his ability to connect with audiences. But it was a commercial for Right Guard deodorant that would prove to be a turning point in Selleck's early career. The commercial, which aired in 1971, featured Selleck in a locker room setting, delivering a memorable tagline with his signature charm. The spot caught the attention of casting directors and agents, and suddenly, Selleck's phone began to ring with offers for more substantial acting roles. As Selleck navigated the challenges of military service and the ups and downs of the acting world, he never lost sight of his ultimate goal, to make a name for himself in Hollywood. With each small role and each commercial appearance, he was building a foundation for the success that was to come. Little did he know that his breakout role was just around the corner, waiting to launch him into the stratosphere of stardom. Magnum P1, role that changed everything. In 1980, a groundbreaking television series burst onto the scene, forever changing the landscape of primetime drama. That series was Magnum P.I., and it starred none other than Tom Selleck in the lead role of Thomas Magnum. Little did Selleck know that this role would catapult him to superstardom and make him a household name. Magnum P1 followed the adventures of Thomas Magnum, a private investigator living on the lush island of Oahu, Hawaii. With his signature Detroit Tigers baseball cap, his iconic mustache, and his Ferrari 308 GTS, Magnum became an instant cultural icon. The show was a perfect blend of action, humor, and heart, and it showcased Selleck's incredible range as an actor. For eight glorious seasons, from 1980 to 1988, Magnum P.I. captivated audiences around the world. The show ran for an impressive 163 episodes, each one filled with witty banter, thrilling plot lines, and the undeniable chemistry between Selleck and his co-stars. Magnum P.I. was more than just a television show. It was a cultural phenomenon. Selleck's portrayal of Thomas Magnum was nothing short of brilliant. He brought charm, vulnerability, and a sense of humor to the role that made Magnum feel like a real person, someone you could root for and relate to. Whether he was solving a complex case, bantering with his friends, or cruising along the Hawaiian coastline in his Ferrari, Selleck made Magnum come alive on screen. The success of Magnum, P.I. was unprecedented. The show consistently ranked among the top-rated programs on television, drawing in millions of viewers each week. It was a critical darling as well, earning numerous accolades and awards over the course of its run. In 1984, Selleck's exceptional work on the series was recognized with an Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series, cementing his status as one of the most talented actors of his generation. However, with great success often comes great sacrifice. As Magnum, P.I. soared to new heights, Selleck found himself facing a difficult decision. He was offered the role of Indiana Jones in Raiders of the Lost Ark, a part that would eventually go to Harrison Ford and launch another iconic franchise. Due to his contractual obligations to Magnum P.I., Selleck was forced to turn down the role, a decision that he would later reflect on with a mix of regret and acceptance. Despite missing out on Indiana Jones, Selleck's star continued to rise. Magnum P.I. had established him as a household name and a bona fide television icon. The show's success opened doors for Selleck, leading to a wealth of new opportunities in both television and film, from Magnum to the Wild West. While Magnum P.I. may have been Tom Selleck's breakthrough role, 
it was far from his only notable performance. Throughout his career, Selleck has demonstrated his versatility as an actor, taking on a wide range of roles across various genres. One genre that Selleck has particularly excelled in is the Western. With his rugged good looks, his commanding presence, and his natural affinity for the outdoors, Selleck was a perfect fit for the world of cowboys and gunslingers. He starred in several acclaimed Western films, each one showcasing his talent and his dedication to the craft. In 1979, Selleck appeared in The Sackets, a television movie based on the novels of legendary Western author Louis L'Amour. The film, which also starred Sam Elliott and Glenn Ford, was a critical and commercial success, and it helped to establish Selleck as a force to be reckoned with in the Western genre. Three years later, in 1982, Selleck reunited with Sam Elliott for another Western classic, The Shadow Riders. The film, which aired on CBS, was a thrilling tale of two brothers on a mission to rescue their kidnapped sisters. Selleck's performance was praised for its depth and emotional intensity, and the film remains a beloved entry in his filmography. Perhaps Selleck's most iconic Western role, however, came in 1990 with the release of Quigley Down Under. In the film, Selleck played Matthew Quigley, an American sharpshooter hired by an Australian rancher to help deal with a pack of dingoes. Quigley Down Under was a box office hit, grossing over $21 million in the United States alone, and it cemented Selleck's status as a true Hollywood cowboy. Outside of his Western roles, Selleck has also made his mark on television in a number of other notable projects. In the mid-1970s, he had a recurring role on the popular detective series, The Rockford Files, playing the character of Lance White, a rival private investigator to James Garner's Jim Rockford. Selleck's appearances on the show were always a highlight, and they helped to further establish him as a rising star in the television world. In the 1990s, Selleck made a memorable guest appearance on the hit sitcom Friends, playing the role of Dr. Richard Burke, Monica Geller's older boyfriend. Although he only appeared in a handful of episodes, Selleck's performance was widely praised, and his character became a fan favorite. The role showcased Selleck's comedic timing and his ability to hold his own alongside the show's talented ensemble cast. More recently, in 2007, Selleck joined the cast of the popular television series Las Vegas, playing the role of A.J. Cooper, the new owner of the Montecito Casino. Selleck's addition to the show brought a new level of gravitas and star power, and his performance was widely praised by fans and critics alike. Ageless icon, triumph with blue bloods. In 2010, Tom Selleck took on perhaps his most iconic television role since Magnum P.I., when he signed on to play the lead in the CBS police procedural Blue Bloods. The show, which follows the lives and careers of the Reagan family, a multi-generational clan of New York City police officers, has become a massive hit, thanks in no small part to Selleck's commanding performance as Frank Reagan, the family patriarch, and the New York City police commissioner. From the moment Blue Bloods premiered, it was clear the show was something special, the series combines the classic elements of a police procedural with the drama and emotion of a family saga, creating a unique and compelling television experience. At the center of it all is Tom Selleck, whose portrayal of Frank Reagan has been hailed as one of the finest performances of his career. As Frank Reagan, Selleck brings a sense of authority, integrity, and wisdom to the role. He is the moral compass of the show, the steady hand guiding his family and his city through the challenges and triumphs of life as a police officer. Whether he's making tough decisions in the line of duty, offering sage advice to his children and grandchildren, or simply sharing a meal with his family, Selleck imbues Frank with a depth and complexity that makes him feel like a real person. The success of Blue Bloods has been nothing short of remarkable. The show has consistently been one of the highest rated programs on television, drawing in millions of viewers each week. It has also been a critical darling, earning praise for its writing, its performances, and its thoughtful exploration of complex social and political issues. The show introduced Selleck to a whole new generation of fans, many of whom were not even born when Magnum P.I. first aired. At the same time, it has allowed him to continue doing what he loves, bringing compelling characters to life on screen and entertaining audiences around the world. Perhaps most impressively, 
Blue Bloods has now surpassed Magnum, P.I. in longevity. While Magnum, P.I. captivated audiences for eight seasons and 163 episodes, Blue Bloods continues its powerful run. The show is currently in its 14th season, with the second half, consisting of eight episodes, scheduled to debut in fall 2024. This thrilling final chapter will mark the conclusion of both the Blue Blood series and Tom Selleck's iconic portrayal of Frank Reagan, ending an era of beloved television. Loves of Tom Selleck, Marriages and Family. Behind the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, Tom Selleck has always been a man who values his privacy and cherishes the simple things in life. Throughout his career, he has managed to keep his personal life largely out of the spotlight, preferring to focus on his craft and his loved ones rather than the trappings of fame. In 1971, Selleck took his first steps into the world of marriage when he married model, actress, and Magnum P.I. co-star Jacqueline Ray. Although the union ultimately ended in divorce in 1982, it brought Selleck the joy of fatherhood. During their time together, Selleck adopted Jacqueline's son, Kevin, and embraced the role of being a dad with the same dedication and enthusiasm he brought to his acting career. Selleck's divorce ended his relationship with Jacqueline, but not his father-son Bond. Ray kept Kevin as his adopted son. Following his divorce from Jacqueline, Selleck found love again with Jilly Joan Mack, a talented dancer and actress from England. The couple tied the knot in an intimate ceremony in 1987, and their union has stood the test of time. In 1988, Selleck and Jilly welcomed their daughter Hannah into the world, completing their family and bringing a new sense of purpose and joy to Selleck's life. Throughout his marriage to Jilly, Selleck has made a concerted effort to keep his personal life separate from his professional one. He rarely attends Hollywood parties or red carpet events, preferring instead to spend his free time with his family and friends. For Selleck, the glitz and glamour of Tinseltown hold little appeal. He is a man who values authenticity, integrity, and the simple pleasures of life. One of Selleck's greatest passions outside of acting is his love of sports and outdoor activities. An avid volleyball player, Selleck has been known to participate in charity tournaments and even competed at the national level back in the 1980s. He is also a skilled ice hockey player and can often be found hitting the rink with friends and colleagues. When he's not spiking a volleyball or slapping a puck, Selleck can usually be found indulging in his other great sporting love, baseball. A lifelong fan of the Detroit Tigers, Selleck has been known to attend games whenever his schedule allows, and he even had the opportunity to take batting practice with the team back in the early 1990s. For Tom Selleck, life is about balance. He has managed to achieve incredible success in his career while never losing sight of what truly matters, his family, his friends, and his passions. By keeping his personal life private and focusing on the things that bring him joy, Selleck has crafted a life that is rich in love, laughter, and fulfillment. The Truth About Selleck's Health Despite his seemingly charmed life, Tom Selleck has not been immune to the challenges and struggles that come with aging and the demands of a high-profile career. In recent years, rumors have swirled about the actor's health, with some speculating that he may be battling serious illnesses. One of the most persistent rumors has been that Selleck is suffering from arthritis, a painful condition that can cause inflammation and stiffness in the joints. Some have pointed to the actor's occasionally stiff gait and his use of a cane in some public appearances as evidence of his supposed affliction. Other reports have suggested that Selleck may be experiencing problems with his vision, with some speculating that he could be going blind. These rumors were fueled by reports of the actor seeking treatment from eye specialists in Los Angeles. Despite the rampant speculation, Selleck and his representatives have consistently denied these health rumors. In a statement released to the media, a spokesperson for the actor insisted that Selleck is in excellent health and that any suggestions to the contrary are simply untrue. Indeed, those who know Selleck best have attested to his vitality and his commitment to living a healthy lifestyle. The actor has long been an advocate of regular exercise and healthy eating, and he has credited his active lifestyle with helping him to maintain his physical and mental well-being. Even in the face of these challenges and rumors, Selleck has remained dedicated to his craft and his passion for storytelling. 
He has continued to take on new projects and challenges, bringing the same level of commitment and professionalism to his work that he has throughout his career. For Selleck, the key to overcoming adversity has always been to stay focused on the things that matter most. Whether it's his family, his friends, or his work, Selleck has never let the noise and distractions of the outside world interfere with his sense of purpose and his determination to live life on his own terms. Cowboy at heart, love with ranch life. For Tom Selleck, the great outdoors has always been a source of inspiration, rejuvenation, and peace. Growing up in Southern California, he developed a deep appreciation for the natural world and the simple pleasures of life outside the city. One of Selleck's greatest passions is his ranch, a sprawling 65-acre property located in the picturesque hills of Ventura County, California. The ranch, which Selleck purchased in the late 1980s, became his refuge from the chaos and demands of Hollywood life. The centerpiece of the ranch is Selleck's avocado farm, which he tends with the same level of care and dedication that he brings to his acting career. The farm is a labor of love for Selleck, who takes great pride in the quality of his avocados and the health of his trees. When he's not working on his farm, Selleck can often be found engaged in other ranch-related activities. He is an avid horseman and enjoys taking long rides through the hills and valleys of his property. He also enjoys fixing up old tractors and other equipment, a skill he learned from his father, who was a skilled mechanic. For Selleck, the ranch is more than just a place to escape the pressures of his career. It is a way of life. He has often spoken about the sense of peace and purpose he feels when he is working on the land, and he credits his time at the ranch with helping him maintain his physical and mental well-being. Rumors suggest Selleck is already looking forward to spending more time outdoors on his ranch and enjoying quality time with his wife and daughter upon his retirement. The Future of Tom Selleck's Career As Tom Selleck approaches the twilight of his remarkable career, fans and industry insiders alike have begun to speculate about what the future may hold for the iconic actor. In recent years, Selleck has hinted at the possibility of retirement, suggesting that he may be ready to step away from the spotlight and focus on his personal life and his many other passions. His comments about the future of his hit show, Blue Bloods, have fueled the rumors of his potential retirement. While he hinted at being open to continuing with the show as long as the fans remain engaged and the stories remain compelling, the show's upcoming conclusion has fans worried. The second part of Blue Bloods season 14 is set to release in the fall of 2024, marking the show's end. Fans fear this might be the last time they see their favorite actor on screen. However, Tom Selleck is not ready to hang up his commissioner's hat just yet. The actor's enthusiasm for the role remains strong. Expressing his disappointment with the show ending, he said, I see a lot of very upset people out there. We'll see what happens. When asked about retiring, he replied, I love the work. Sometimes the hours are a little harder because I'm older, but so what? I want to work as long as they'll have me. Regardless of what the future holds for Blue Bloods, it is clear that Tom Selleck's legacy as one of the greatest actors of his generation is secure. With a career spanning more than five decades and countless iconic roles to his name, Selleck has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry and on the hearts of his fans around the world. One project that has generated particular excitement among Selleck's fans is the prospect of a memoir. In recent years, Selleck has hinted that he may be open to the idea of writing a book about his life and career, sharing untold stories, and offering his unique perspective on the industry he has been a part of for so long. For fans, the prospect of a Tom Selleck memoir is tantalizing, offering the chance to hear directly from the man himself about his struggles, his triumphs, and his enduring passion for the craft of acting. Such a book would also provide an opportunity for Selleck to address some of the rumors and speculation that have swirled around him over the years, setting the record straight and offering a definitive account of his life and work. Even if a memoir never materializes, and whether he chooses to pursue future acting roles or retire and focus on his other passions, one thing is certain. Tom Selleck's contributions to the entertainment industry will continue to be celebrated for generations to come. His iconic mustache, his signature charm, 
and his undeniable talent have made him a beloved figure around the world, and his legacy as one of the greatest actors of his time is secure. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.